Okay. It's in their parking lot, the okay. east parking lot. The east parking lot, which is the uh, the, the concrete as opposed to yes. the asphalt. Right. On yes. the, easier to paint on concrete than asphalt. Well, it's isn't chalk. It? Yeah. It's chalk. Paint. Chalk. And Sorry. We'll easier chalk, than chalk. And the chalk will be provided. I mean, you can bring your own chalk, but we will have some. Wow. So it's we're hoping we have a lot of people turn out for that. It's kind of a little lead into to our open house and oh, that's a that lot of evening. fun mm -hmm. we're hoping so what time is the open house starts at 5 30 right mm -hmm, i think so okay. yeah. 5 30 to 9 all right all right so uh, um, all right so this chalk thing I'm, I'm sitting there i'm scared spencer you've 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 suggested that i paint or that i that i yeah chalk a little yeah. bit i'm worried what i'd come up with I, I would recommend you find you a simple photograph of something you like and bring it along and just replicate it on the in the parking lot there. I wonder if anybody will have you seen the uh, the 3D chalk chalking oh, yeah. that people have been doing. Yeah. See now that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that's a little complex. Yeah, you might be that talented. You can you no. can do that. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I can guarantee you that I am not that talented. Uh, that's a lot of fun, though. When did well, who decided or how did you guys come up with the chalk walk? Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. Idea, <laughs> I don't know either. I'm. Well, it's a nice opportunity to get the community involved. We just, right? Yes, we we're looking for ways for our community to be more involved in the paint out all the time. Yeah. And you know, we love for them to come to the exhibit and look at the paintings, purchase paintings, come back for the awards. But we want them to be a participant in some way also. Sure. So we thought this might be a fun way to get some people out there. And uh, when's the last time you paint a sidewalk? Or you chalk the si I uh, sidewalk. Don't uh, know that I've ever done. It. I know. <laughs> I, you know, I was going to say, other than hopscotch, I yeah. can't. I can't and remember. There's, there's your option. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. I, you know, that basically it would be it would be simple, uh -huh. and it would be uh, certainly pragmatic. Mm -hmm. I think that's a winner. <laughs> I, th I think it'll be fun. It will be fun. Well, we're, that's we're a good hoping time. we have a good turnout. <clears throat> we hope people will come out and see what's been drawn. That's Friday night at uh, at uh, Frontier Community College. Tell me a little bit about Saturday. Saturday, we have our judging of the paintings will happen at eight o'clock with for with a judge from Spencer. We'll have to tell you again where he's from. Siloam Siloam Spring. Springs, Arkansas. His name is John P. Lassie. You bring in you bring in outside judges who uh, are unfamiliar with the area, pretty much, right? Um, not so much that as judges that are qualified, uh -huh. and I don't. Well, know. How do you qualify as a judge? Uh, your reputation. Yeah. John is is known throughout the plein air world. He's a nationally, even internationally known plein air painter. Just well recognized. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's he's got the, He'll have the respect of all 25, 26 artists. You know that is the worst thing if you got somebody who does. If you accidentally get a judge who the artists have uh, very little respect mm. for, it can become a. Awkward, yeah. Yes. Shall we say? Yeah, yes. yeah. All right. Well, so he's judging Saturday morning. Saturday morning, and then at ten o'clock, he's going to do a demo that will be open to the public to come. And that'll be out of Frontier as well. That will be mm -hmm. at Frontier also. Yeah. Okay. And when's the is the uh, open house and, and what's the awards ceremony? Is at noon at Bob Boyle's Hall. Okay. And this is kind of what I've got a few pictures here for folks to. This is kind of what to get an idea of uh, the the amount of work that uh, you folks are doing. I don't know. Actually, this looks like this picture was probably taken well into the showing because there's empty spaces, there's empty right? Empty spaces. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of uh, different folks who go around and I mean, look at that house. That's just a gorgeous uh, a gorgeous home. That's uh, uh, this is from last year, I guess, Melinda. Yes, it is. There's somebody with a purchase painting in their hand. See that? There you go. They're right there. Yes, there's one already. L. Bryan's bought him one. Yep. And it uh, looks like Pat Moltz is talking about it. It's also a good chance to interact with the artist, right, yeah. uh, Spencer? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And uh, there's the pot horse looking at some. Uh, yeah, and we haven't really mentioned it. We probably should. When folks see these artists out and about. The artist, you're not pushing people away, are you? I no, mean, no. We, we encourage them to, to come talk with us, but not dominate our time. I, I have had some people hang around for an hour, and that that can be kind of a, a problem when you're because we are trying to work. You're working. You know, that, that's how we make our living. But you don't but, mind, folks, will no. coming up and saying hello. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, Taking we, a look. We, we, we like the spotlight, like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> And they are very gracious to people to, to come up and talk with them. Uh, Spencer was talking about the farmer in the bib overalls a, while, a few minutes ago. 
um, one of the artists came back in last year. She'd been out painting landscapes. Uh -huh. She said, I got stopped by this farmer and wanted me to come paint his cows. <laughs> so, <laughs> and she well, had always, a, I mean, you're always up for suggestions. She, oh, absolutely. She'd had a good long conversation with this gentleman about what she was doing and why she was there. And, you know, he and admired her paintings and then went on and did his field work <laughs> did she paint his cows i think she did yes. well how about that that's for a problem it might have won a prize there are several different prize categories and uh, i tell you what we'll do we'll take a quick break we're going to come back we'll talk about the different prize categories and then spencer has some some work that you're going to show us here yeah, right yeah, we've got we've got, got quite a bit of work uh you are watching big talk with bruce dickey right here on wabash catch tv and spencer and melinda and i'll be back right after these words when you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround go to lamont chevrolet chrysler in fairfield let gabe mcgahey sheldon bunning jeff black dennis downs matthew rogers or caleb dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology lamont's always inspects your battery antifreeze wipers and tires for free we want you prepared for the open road ahead Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your healthcare needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for healthcare, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at bruced at wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Florida. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2 Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. My guests today are Spencer Meager along with Melinda States. We're talking about the Fairfield paint out. The dates of it again are next week, October 2nd 
through October 6th. So you might see some artsy fartsy folks wandering around town uh, for the next uh, the next week or if, so. If they've got paint all over them, they're an artist. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Or if right. they have the trunk up and look like they're digging things out there. The trunk up, or they're standing there with some a handful yeah. of stuff. Uh, you've got some sponsors, and you've got a lot of prizes to give away, don't you, Melinda? We do have a lot of prizes. We do do. Um, sponsors that give awards for best of show which is fairfield national bank or fnb best watercolors andrew diesel with edward jones and wayne county abstract the best oil is csi insurance and kincaid's nice. hardware uh, then we have another category which is wabash communications hey how about that we're giving something away yeah, cool yeah uh people's national bank does uh, you know they took that from my raise Oh, really? <laughs> we appreciate that. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> uh, People's Choice is People's National Bank. And okay. Fairfield Banking Company uh, does the artist choice, which the artists get to choose their best painting. They all like the best. And then Country Life Award is by the country financial agents Alex Atwood and Mark Dinsmore. Albion Bicentennial Award is from Citizens National Bank. And Albion People's Choice is Fairfield Memorial Hospital. Okay. Garden of the Gods from Johnson and Vaughn Funeral Home. And then the Chalk Walk is being sponsored by Meager Pest Control. And so we have a bunch of them. Plus you talked about the uh, a little bit of cost for the Friday night, uh, to, for Friday night to vote for the People's Choice, uh -huh. right? But the, and that goes for the raffle right. for mm -hmm. this particular painting, This particular right? painting, yes. Let's uh, pull this up and see if I can't get the good camera shot on uh, that one. Tell me about that one. Who did that one, uh, Melinda? Spencer Meager. That's your Spencer. <laughs> that, that's an acrylic that I did, yeah. An acrylic. Okay, and this is uh, presumably, what, a, at a football game, I guess, right? It is. It is. Uh, help, help me who took the photograph. Um, the Trent? Philip Trent. Philip Trent, okay. And uh, every year we try to find something that <laughs> speaks to the local community, and uh, everybody loves football. Well, that's right. No. Uh, th that's the thing. And then, then you got a lot of patriotism there. You got the uh, carrying the flags. The, the players carrying the flags mm -hmm. in. That's the, the, they've uh, they've been doing that for a few years now, uh, Spencer. And, and that's that's a so this is the winner. And, and it's you've got uh, uh, provenance mm -hmm. in the back of it too, right? Hey, that's a good word. There you go. You know, you even pronounced per, uh, correctly, I'm, wasn't it? I'm glad you reminded me of that. I got to <laughs> create provenance for another one today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, let's uh, let's give folks kind of an idea of some uh, some different uh, some different paintings that they may see. I uh, well, I love this one, Spencer. Tell me about it. Uh, look, that's an ant sculpture that's over at Mitchell Museum in Mount right. Vernon, and I just uh, fell in love with with them when I saw them. And uh, it, it's an unusual subject, but it's turned out to be one of my favorite paintings. I just I something about it. I just like the the immenseness of them in it. Well, you see, that's the thing. You you didn't get down at the uh, magnifying glass and just lay on the ground to, and take a look at those ants, right? I, I've been known to do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, over 40 years, what do you do? You might uh, you might actually yeah. do something. Okay, now tell me about this one. Okay, that one is uh, a plein air piece I did down in uh, Rockport, Texas earlier really? this spring. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, relatively new then, huh? Yeah, and if you look out, if you could see close enough, you could see the, the bay out there in the far distance. That road just kind of ran out to the bay. So. Oh, I see. Where, where is Rockport? Rockport is where the, uh, Hurricane Harvey hit last year. Oh, that was, was that right? That was the, the eye of the storm came on land there and just obliterated the That's town. That's what I was going to ask, how yeah. much damage. Oh, a, a lot of damage, terrible damage. So My we were there as kind of a fundraiser. There's a large group of painters in there. Uh Trying, just trying to help. So the fun, you guys were you guys were painting and selling selling paintings and and the funds were a portion presumably. Yeah, well, going back they, I think they actually went relief. for the art center there that was destroyed. Oh boy! Uh, but, and it's a great little town. Really, really liked it. Liked the people down there. Yeah. That's one of the fun things about about what I do. You get to meet new people and experience new cultures all the time. What's the farthest you've gone for one of these? Uh, Annapolis, Maryland, I think. No kidding. Yeah. I'm guessing that in Annapolis it was mainly uh, naval shots or something like that. Um, shots actually, of, I uh, did paint it at the Naval Academy. Oh, did I you? I was allowed to go on there, and that's a that's a fantastic facility. I imagine uh, you have all kinds of different choices uh, oh, in, yeah. on the Naval Academy. Oh, yeah. You, there, and then if you just outside the Naval Academy is the oldest part of the town, so it dates back to the 1600s. Right. And the old old the old capital is, I forget how, how many centuries old. Well, that'd be three, and, anyway. And it was the first 
a capital building for the United States, if, if I remember is correctly. Is that right? Yeah. The, is it currently in use? Or is it oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. No kidding. It is. And there's no parking around it either. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet not. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a mess, but it's a great mess. I, I love love yeah, downtown It's like the, you know, the Springfield one's almost 200 years old, yeah. the old one. But, yeah. and it, of course, it's no longer in use anymore. Mm-hmm. But, all right, let's uh, take a look at uh, this one. What have we here? Yeah, that was uh, up in Wisconsin about two months ago. Just a quick acrylic I did of a always looking for a good dairy farm scene and and so that was i, I got a question and mm-hmm. you're, you're gonna think it's a stupid question but uh all the pink how do you did all the pink on it what, you, the why why is that why yeah, really? yeah. uh it, it just kind of gives it more of an artistic feel and yeah. i didn't want to well it, i didn't know if in. the sky was if the sky was kind of pinkish hue that day or if a, no i just that's called toning your canvas and oil and acrylic painters do that a lot it, it, you let those colors peek through that you tone it with, and then it just adds like a vibrancy into your painting. Wow. That one has a little bit more than I usually leave. So. Yeah. Well, I see. So uh, what what kind of idea is uh, you're getting here? Uh, this is kind of what folks are going to see at, yeah. the, at the at the paint out next yep. weekend. Yep. All right. Well, let's uh, go over quickly again. What are the opportunities for the general public to uh, come in and, and view paintings, uh, Melinda? They can come any evening in Fairfield except Thursday. Thursday will be in Albion. Okay. Friday. So Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday in at Fairfield. Bob Boyles Hall in Fairfield at yes in Fairfield. Okay. Friday night is the big exhibition and then that's when the paintings are actually available for purchase. So you come and purchase some paintings. Right. Uh, if you uh, would like to have a chance on some paintings, of course you get one on this one we just showed you of the football game, but the artist also provide us 6 by 6 little paintings right. and we sell um, tickets for those and you put your choose which paintings you're interested in and then we draw out winners we'll have 25 of those little six by sixes that we'll be giving away that's pretty good uh how big do you think we're going to get i mean uh, we're seven years in what's the goal artist wise yeah i i think we want to keep it where about where it's at i could see it maybe becoming an invitational or part part invitational uh, that's where an invitational is just where you you ask an artist, hey, we would like you to be part of our event, and and they accept it. Uh, that is a little more prestigious. Yeah. But it, we don't want to sa- oversaturate the community right. with art. Uh, that's that's going to give us a longevity. Well, you also you want to make sure folks are there to buy them too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we've yeah. been very fortunate, especially the last two years. We've sold sixteen thousand dollars worth of paintings one year, wow. seventeen thousand at the other. Mm-hmm. So outstanding. We, our community is very supportive, and we're very appreciative of that. Melinda, thanks very much Thank for coming you. up here today. We're I appreciate glad. it. Spencer, uh, thanks for coming up here. Best of luck to you next week. Thank okay, you. my pleasure. Uh, it is uh, the Fairfield Paint Out next week. Next, it's October second through the sixth. Many opportunities. Somebody wants information, just go to Facebook. Facebook. Uh, we have a paint out. Fairfield Paint Out page. There you go. Fairfield Paint Out on Facebook. This is Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Talk to y'all real soon.